I remember my first project, uh, we're working with a very senior staff uh, member here and working for a client that I make and work for at that time, 30 plus years. Uh, and that experience really was great for me. The senior engineer really showed me that it's more than just the engineering, it's more than just putting plans on paper, it's more than just the calculations. It really taught me the importance of getting in the field, working with the facilities director, truly understand their needs, their pain points, understand how our design affected their operations. The other thing it really showed me too was his relationship with our architectural partner and the owner. Uh, it was a not a transactional relationship, it was, it was a relationship really built on trust and friendship. And that really stuck with me in terms of going through my career. You know, what we do, engineering is very important, but that relationship portion is really, really key for project success and collaboration. So I'm a small town Iowa boy, and I uh, grew up um, working on farms and doing things uh, with my hands and helping the family do things. Ended up joining the Navy. Uh, and through that process, when I joined the Navy, I went into the uh, propulsion plant operations side, the nuclear power side, and I really uh, became interested in the, uh, the technology and what you could do with it and the engineering systems that we used in the Navy for propulsion and operation of the submarine that I was on. Really, I wanted to continue that um, in, a, in, a, in a way that I could contribute to society and just help everyone. The root of why I'm a consultant is I like to work with people and help people navigate the waters and understand the project that they're doing. One of the things I like to do is help solve issues. And starting when I was a kid, I was figuring out how something worked. And so I would always want to dig into um, more depth of how it works, why it works. And I think that helps a lot with on the engineering and the consulting because that's really what we do. People come to us for an issue um, or a problem to solve and we are problem solvers. And so I think it's always helped me um, in my career just always having that background of wanting to know more and learning more about the aspects of any particular building. Most importantly, it's really the passion to learn about what our clients do. So you can go out and you can provide a solution, a technical solution, but in reality, it's much more fun for us as engineers to learn about what does the client produce? How do they produce it? How do our solutions fit in with what they're making and how does that you know make their product better make them more profitable things like that um, having that focus on function as opposed to um, form has just really been an interesting opportunity um, for me and for the team that I work with there's a lot of a lot of pride that comes with being able to fix those problems and see the motoring public compliment on the fact that that um, these improvements have been made. Well, my passion for engineering really stems from the ability to solve problems. And on top of that, I really like working with people. So I love the challenge of the engineering solutions, uh, but I also love the challenge of developing relationships. We have staff that come from engineering backgrounds with engineering degrees. We have staff that have sat on the owner's side of the table. And we have staff that come from the field with a contracting expertise. So it's a great mix of skills to help us meet our clients' needs. I think one of the things that sets our team apart and sets our healthcare team specifically, uh, we spend a lot of time training them not just be engineers but to be true consultants. And what does that mean? That means understanding how to collaborate, understanding leadership, understanding communication. These are some of those key soft skills that really truly bring a, a partnership.